He's definitely catching him. I think he's going to run out of time, though. Is Johnny Benson going to finish ahead of Mike Skinner? He's one truck in front of him. Will he let him go back by and get those four points? I cannot imagine that Johnny Benson would not let Mike Skinner go by with a championship at stake here. Down the back stretch, our leader, Kyle Busch, holding off the 33 of Ron Hornaday. Kyle Busch looking to win his sixth career win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Looking out of turn four, checkered flag in the air. He'll win the Phoenix 150. Good job, boys. What you wanted, everybody. Billy, thank you. Unbelievable. Johnny Benson stays in front of Mike Skinner. I cannot believe that. That's four points. Put that down in your notebook. Yeah, I, I think uh, obviously no team orders there because Johnny Benson passed Mike Skinner, cost him four points. That could loom large when we get to Homestead next week. But Johnny Benson passed Rick Crawford, moved into the top five in points. Johnny was probably worried about that as well. Four, as he exits turn number four, the white flag will go in the air for Kyle Busch. White flag here, white flag, that's the red 50. One more time around for Kyle Busch. Pretty good separation till this battle back here for the seventh spot with Crafton and Johnson. Bush, Boyer, Hornaday, Sauter, and Dillon, your top five. It has been a two-truck race tonight. The 18 of Kyle Bush and the two of Clint Boyer. Coming out of turn right. number four. All right, we did it, boys. Good job. Woo! They definitely did it, dominating at Phoenix International Raceway. Matt Crafton's going to prevail in that battle for seventh, but a great run by Justin Johnson. First ever start finishes eighth. There's... There's new wife, Samantha. His first win as a married man. Probably first of many. <laughs> I, would, I would say yes. That is the start of something great. And let's go trackside to...